now let us see about what is derivation leftmost derivation rightmost derivation leftmost derivation tree as well as rightmost derivation tree the process of derivation always starts from start symbol we know what is a start symbol uh, let the grammar contains several productions the first production left hand side non terminal is called as start symbol derivation process always starts from start symbol now let us see what is derivation derivation means it is the process of applying a sequence of production rules in order to obtain a string so what is the major target of derivation the major target of derivation is in order to derive a string for deriving that string we have to apply a sequence of production rules production rules so this is about uh, what is derivation we have two types of derivation first one is leftmost derivation second one is rightmost derivation first let us see what is leftmost derivation leftmost derivation means in each step the leftmost non terminal is to be expanded now let's see what is rightmost derivation rightmost derivation means in each step the rightmost non terminal is to be expanded we will see about leftmost derivation example rightmost derivation example later after discussing what is leftmost derivation tree and what is rightmost derivation tree so the next concept is derivation tree derivation tree derivation tree can also be called as parse tree what is derivation tree derivation tree means the diagrammatic representation of the diagrammatic representation of derivation so here uh, we use uh, uh, leftmost derivation or rightmost derivations so if if you want to represent leftmost derivation with the help of a diagram then we use leftmost derivation tree likewise we can use rightmost derivation rightmost derivation can be represented with the help of a diagram that is called as rightmost derivation tree so what is derivation tree derivation tree means a diagrammatic representation of derivation process and in order to obtain derivation tree totally we have to follow three rules let us see the first rule the first rule is root node must be start symbol root node must be start symbol so here this is the root node so this root node must be start symbol and the second rule is internal node internal node internal nodes are internal nodes are non terminal nodes non terminal nodes internal nodes means parent nodes the nodes which are having children so let the root node has two children so these two are known as internal nodes why because these two nodes may contain some children so these two nodes are known as internal nodes why because this node contain two children this node is also having some children so internal node means the node with children internal nodes are non terminal nodes so these nodes are represented with the help of non terminals non terminals so what are non terminals non terminals are nothing but upper case letters so for representing these internal nodes we have to use as upper case letters now let us see the last point the last point is leaf nodes leaf nodes are terminal nodes leaf nodes are terminals terminal nodes so what are the terminals here here first let's see what is leaf node leaf node means the nodes with no children if we consider these four nodes these four nodes doesn't have any children 
So we can call these four nodes here as leaf nodes. In order to represent leaf nodes, we have to use as terminals. We know terminals are represented with the help of uh, lower case letters or digits or symbols such as left parenthesis, right parenthesis, plus minus star. Likewise, we can have several symbols. So in order to represent these, we have to use as what? Leaf nodes. So by following these three rules, we can construct pass B. Now let us see an example. In order to obtain leftmost derivation, rightmost derivation, leftmost derivation tree and rightmost derivation tree. In the examination, you may get question on leftmost derivation or leftmost derivation tree or rightmost derivation or rightmost derivation tree. Let we have a grammar. Let the grammar contains uh, uh, productions like this. E produces E plus E. Let the second production is E produces E star E. Let the third production is E produces left parenthesis E, right parenthesis E. Left parenthesis E, right parenthesis. And the last one is ID. So in this grammar, what are the non-terminals? Here we have only one non-terminal. That is E. Non-terminals are nothing but uppercase letters. And what are terminal nodes? Plus star, left parenthesis, right parenthesis and this id. Why? Because I, this id means uh, it is in lower case form. So the, it is a terminal node. Okay. Uh, now let us see an example. Let us obtain the string id plus id star id. So here our target is we want to obtain this string with the help of leftmost derivation, rightmost derivation. So first let us see about uh, leftmost derivation and then we will see about uh, rightmost derivation. What is leftmost derivation? In each step, the leftmost non-terminal is to be expanded. Let us see an example for this. Here we have to obtain this string. Here we need to obtain uh, plus. Here we have to get plus. So here this production contains plus. So let us take this production. E produces E plus E. E produces E plus E. Next, E produces, this is leftmost derivation. Leftmost derivation means the leftmost non-terminal is expanded. So out of this E, this E, the first E is leftmost non-terminal. So expand this term, non-terminal. So here we have to obtain ID. So from this E, we can get ID. So from this E, let us obtain this thing, ID star ID. So ID, why? Because E means here totally we have four productions. So id plus, so e. In each step we have to derive only one non-terminal. Next e produces, this is leftmost no, derivation. So we have to, uh, in each step we have to derive what? Leftmost non-terminal. Leftmost non-terminal is expanded. Here we have from the left, here we have only one non-terminal. So you expand this one. So id plus, Expand this one. From the C, we have to obtain ID star ID. Here it contains star. So in star, we have second production. E star E. Next, E produces ID plus. What is the leftmost non-terminal? This E. So from the C, we will get ID. So ID star E. Next, we have to derive the leftmost non-terminal. So ID star. Here we have only one non-terminal. So this is the obtained string. Okay. Now let us see the parse tree. So directly also we can construct parse tree without this derivation or from this derivation also we can obtain the parse tree. So what is the first production? E produces, E produces, E plus E, E plus E. Next we have expanded this E, first E. So from this E we got ID. From this E we got ID. <coughs> Next ID. Okay. Next ID. So this step is over. So we can write like this. Next from this E we got ID. From this E we got E star E. E star E. Next, from this E, we got ID. We got ID. So, ID star 
uh, we can try this id star e from the c we got id we got id okay now we have to obtain the string in order to obtain the string just we have to take the terminals from left to to right from left to to right so id plus id star id so this is the derived string so this is nothing but leftmost derivation this is nothing but leftmost derivation tree so directly from the productions also we can derive the we can obtain the leftmost derivation parse tree okay it is our choice or from this these productions also we can write now let us see the second one what is the second one leftmost derivation is over now let us see about rightmost derivation and its parse tree rightmost derivation and its parse tree so e produces here we have plus symbol as well as star symbol let us take plus e produces e plus e next e produces here rightmost derivation rightmost derivation means we have to expand the rightmost non terminal so this is the rightmost non terminal so you expand this one okay expand this uh, non terminal so what is the string we have to get we have to get uh, id plus id star id so instead of uh, plus uh, uh, we can derive the second one also uh, instead of plus we can take uh, the second one also so it is our choice so from the c we can get uh, from the c we have to obtain id star id so the star symbol is present in this production so this is nothing but e star e next remaining as it is next e produces so next here what is the rightmost non terminal this one so we have to expand this non terminal so from the c we can obtain id why because here we have id so star e plus e next e produces what is the rightmost non terminal this is the rightmost non terminal so e means id so id star id plus e next e produces rightmost non terminal means this c so from this c we can get id so id plus id star id so this is the derived string next we have to obtain rightmost parse tree rightmost derivation parse tree so e produces e plus e e plus e next from this c we have e star e e star e next from this uh, from this c we got id next from this c we got id this id next from this c we got this id so next we have to obtain the string in order to obtain the string we have to take a collection from left to most uh, to right most left to most ter terminal to right most terminal id plus id star id so this is about what is derivation what is left to most derivation left to most derivation tree right most derivation and right most derivation tree